In the professional realm, the opposite of nice is not mean. The opposite of nice is difficult. 90% of the people I've worked with who are disruptive or lazy or unskilled or addicts or likely to throw a tantrum are men. 90% of the ones who get called difficult are women. I gave up on being nice. I started putting more value on other qualities instead. Passion, bravery, intelligence, practicality, humor, patience, fairness, sensitivity. Those last three might seem like they are covered by nice, but they are not. I prefer to be around people who have any of the above qualities over niceness. And I prefer if that applies to me too. Hi everyone. All of you must be imagining why do I have this audio in my blog post and this is something that I've never done before. But well, one reason was because I left out this quote from the book that I'm talking about in the blog post below and I absolutely love this quote and I absolutely relate with this quote. So why would I leave it out? But that's not the reason entirely. I also wanted to speak about how I got introduced to audiobooks and how I started falling in love with them. Well, to begin with, let me tell you the kind of person I am. I am still the person who is not properly accustomed to the idea and to the feel of e-books because I absolutely love physical books. The only reason I go for e-books is, well, because they're cheaper and sometimes they're easily accessible in my country than the physical book. But if you give me the option and if I had a lot of money, I would always and always go for the physical book rather than any ebook or any ebook reader. So for someone like me, it was even more difficult to get accustomed to audiobooks. But this is how I sort of started falling in love with them and how now I always have one or two audiobooks in my reading list for at least the week or the month. So basically, before I started booktubing, uh, well, yes, if you didn't know that, I have videos on YouTube. I'm not as consistent as I would like to be, but I try my best and the link is below the blog post and I would love for you to check out my channel. But coming back to this, before I started booktubing, I was watching a lot of booktubers before me for a couple of months. And that's how basically I got inspired and more and more interested in having my own channel. So a lot of these booktubers were very, very popularly talking about audiobooks and how interesting they found this audiobook to be and how this narrator was much better than that narrator and all of that. And I honestly was just sitting there behind the screen trying to understand how would a person enjoy audiobooks more than reading it from the physical book themselves. And another thing that baffled me was the fact that a lot of the time when they were sharing what they're currently reading, they would pick up the physical book in the hand, but they would still mention that they're actually listening to the audiobook. Now you have the book in your hand. Why would you want to go for the audiobook? But well, Despite all of that, I was intrigued and I was very interested to find out how do they have this experience and how do they enjoy it. So I started looking for apps that provide audiobook. Honestly, I will be very frank over here. I was not sure from where do we get audiobooks. But then I stumbled upon Audible, which is the most famous app. And I think most of those booktubers use Audible. And I started listening to some samplers. And you know what? I actually really enjoyed them. And I found out that a lot of those narrators are celebrities and most of these books are actually narrated by the authors themselves. So I was very excited altogether. But then I saw the subscription prices for Audible and their services. So it is quite expensive for me, I'd be frank. And also, despite that monthly subscription, I was not getting a full access to all the books. All I was getting was one book free for the month of my choice and discounts on other books that I want to buy for the month. Now, I'd rather buy a lot of physical books in the amount of money they were asking from me for one month, not even giving me full access to the entire collection. So, well, I decided not to go for Audible and decided to look for other apps. And I could not find any other app for a lot of months, I'll be honest. So then I started thinking about, well, you know, the, one of the main reasons why I wanted to accustom myself to audiobooks was actually to read more classics or reread classics or rather listen to classics. Because, well, we all know how time-consuming classics are and why they're intimidating, so I will not be talking about them over here. But that was one of my main reasons. And so I thought that, well, a lot of books are available in public domain, then obviously their audiobooks ought to be available as well. 
And so I wasn't doing anything illegal in doing that. And I found a couple of apps which offer free audiobooks to all the books available in the public domain. But then when I started listening to them, I was very excited, but I wasn't enjoying the narration as much as I enjoy the samplers in audio, Audible. So I was getting lesser and lesser enthusiastic about the whole concept of audiobooks. And I just thought, you know what, I'm somebody who couldn't yet get used to audiobooks, so I might not be getting used to audiobooks anytime soon. So I was almost about to give it up when I stumbled upon this book blogger who mentioned that she listens to her audiobooks on script. And another thing was that she reads two ebooks on script. So I checked it out immediately. Now, script offers a subscription which is lesser than Audible. And I was very excited. And then I learned that I was getting free access, not free, but unlimited access to all their collections of not just audiobooks, but the similar narrators and sometimes the same narrators to Audible, but also ebooks. So in that amount of money, I was getting pretty much everything. I absolutely loved it. And I, and I just instantly shared it with all my friends because I wanted them to join it as well. So we could listen to the same books or read the same ebooks and just, you know, be on the same page because I absolutely love body reading with them. So Apurva and I took the subscription and uh, we've been enjoying it. We've been body reading a lot of books on script and we've been exposed to a lot of great books that we haven't yet heard of because they're not as hyped, but they definitely deserve the hype. And I absolutely love, love the experience. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because I've also mentioned in my blog post below that Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick was the first audiobook, which was a proper audiobook, which I listened to on script and absolutely loved. And since then, as I mentioned before, I always have an audiobook in my reading list for the week or the month. Now, as of now, which is 10th Jan 2018, I am actually listening to Sapiens by Wayan Harari. And but I feel like I'm back in my comfort zone because my comfort zone has always been nonfiction and especially, you know, all these informative books and memoirs and accounts and all that stuff. So I am really, really comfortable reading it. But because I wanted to read a lot of books that I already have on my shelf, which are unread for many, many years, I did not want to buy another physical copy. So I just thought, you know what, I work a lot and a lot of the times I have to disconnect myself from from the bookish side of my life so I might as well just pick that up and listen to it whenever I'm working and I absolutely enjoy it and then the next audiobook that I'm listening to is uh, a book that I'm rereading with Apurva which is 12 Years a Slave by Solomon Northup and I often switch between the physical copy that I have and the audiobook. I read this book many many years back and I thought well now that I'm rereading it I might as well have another experience and audiobooks was the good option to go to. Obviously, it depends on the narrator and how good the narration is, but I really, really enjoy what Script is doing and I really, really enjoy their collection. Even though they have books that are not hyped or whatever, I absolutely adore their collection. And well, today I started reading Still House Lay by Rachel Kane, an ebook that I bought last year because it was available for 20 rupees. Um, <laughs> so I started reading it today and I'm enjoying it so much. I hooked on to it from the first page itself. I'm also switching between the audiobook and the ebook that I have. And I absolutely love the narration in that one as well. So yeah, I, I really love audiobook. And the fact that I can still be in touch with the book that I'm currently reading while I'm working is just phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love the experience. And if you're someone who's like me and you, if you haven't yet tried audiobooks, I would highly recommend that you do. And if you want, you can have Strappy Little Nobody as your first one because honestly, the way she narrates her own book is just so cool. It makes it 10 times more hilarious. It makes it 10 times more... It, it's just like she's having a conversation with you and you're like, yeah, that's right, actually. And it's... She's she's a cool celebrity anyway, and I absolutely love the way she's narrated her own book. And it's a very cool book to read. So, well, if you are adamant that you would not want to try audiobooks ever, well, that's completely fine. Pick up the physical book because it's going to be very hilarious even then. And well, you have pictures in the book. That's something I missed, but I got to see on the ebook version of it. So, haha, I have all the things with me. 
that didn't make sense. Anyway, but yes, I highly recommend uh, Scrabble Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick to you. It's very light, very humorous, very, it's a hilarious read and you get to know a lot of things about celebrities and their lives and especially her and how human and personified she is in this book. It's a beautiful, beautiful read and I absolutely enjoyed the experience of the audiobook. So, well, so I, I'm recommending two things, uh, three things rather, Scrabble Little Nobody, audiobooks and script. So, well, that's it for today and I will see you or I will rather talk to you in my next one. All my social links are down below, below the blog post. Thank you for dropping by on my website and thank you for checking out the blogs. Your support means so much to me. I can't even express it. And um, yeah, thanks a lot. Stay in touch and let me know your experience with audiobooks and if you have a favorite audiobook yourself and if you know the book that sort of got you into audiobooks or what's your story with audiobooks and what are you currently reading. I would love to know all of that. And if you enjoy Anna Kendrick's books and if you have more suggestions as such, please leave them below in the comment section. I would love to have a conversation with you. See you soon. Bye-bye.